I'm Richard Ingram. I am Bridget Ingram. I'm the owner of Richard Ingram Painting out of Pensacola, Florida. We do high-end new construction and repaint as well as small commercial jobs. I am the owner, the estimator, and I also spend a lot of time in the field. I'm the operations manager and in charge of all the finances. We pride ourselves on high-level communication with our customers as well as quality and reliability. We are joining APC's Paint TV today to talk about cutting in a wall. I'm out here with Cody and Trace. The first step on this project is patching all the holes in the walls, painting all of the trim first, and covering the floors and cabinets. We are using Sherwin-Williams Harmony Flat and Purdy Chinex Elite brushes. I'm using this brush because of the texture we have. It's a stiff bristle. It will help get in all of the grooves and nooks. Today we're going to cut everything in and then turn around and roll. All right. So I've already got my paint poured up in my paint bucket. I, I put my brush in the paint, I tap. This brush holds paint quite well. And we are going to start cutting in. I usually start a little ways away from what I'm cutting in and then come back to cut my straight line. And I have noticed with this brush, it doesn't take a lot of pressure to get in all of the cracks and nooks of the textured wall. So doing the textured walls, I personally would not use a soft bristle brush. So typically we cut about two to three inches away from the frame for the guys that are going to be rolling, but I do like my guys to roll as tight to the trim as we can. This is a pretty simple job. One of the challenges that we have is just making sure that our guys are all producing the same quality, the same rate as far as speed to complete our jobs on time and hopefully under budget. This brush does work well with very little effort. Now I have been doing this for 24 years and I know everybody has their own way to cut in and roll and all of that and I feel that that's great. Everybody can have their own and just do what works best for them to get the job done and make it a quality job. Ooh, you missed a spot. <laughs> Give me a brush. These are some of the tough spots to get into with a three inch sash. Learning how to cut in and have speed to it, I think boils down to just a lot of practice. So I like to have my guys, when they're rolling walls, to roll as close to the door frames as possible to help cover the cut in. So it's almost like it gets cut in a, another time by them rolling it, which I also feel that it makes the, the second cut in a little bit easier. We are getting ready to do the second coat. Our biggest thing is just to make sure that we check underneath window stools and make sure that everything is covered really well. Holes are filled, caulking is tight, no cracks to where when we put our final coat on and we're not doing a bunch of touch-ups. All right, so we're getting ready to clean the brushes up. We've been painting all day. One of the things I've noticed about these brushes is how well and how easy they clean up compared to some of the other brushes that I have used. There's the brush after first rinse. Typically, I don't like to leave my brushes in paint overnight, so we try to do our best to wash brushes up every day as soon as we're done. Brush, nice and clean. Purdy Chinex Elite, give it a shot. We are now finished with this project. 
The walls have been cut in twice, they're rolled twice, trim is painted. We have looked at everything to make sure that it is a quality paint job. Nice straight lines on this project, good coverage, and no holidays. Thanks for joining us on Paint TV.